told, Africa's eye in the sky. Task was scouring the night sky to unlock its secrets. For the last two decades, it's been doing just that. Detecting a four-star system, white dwarf system, and of course, one of the first to observe a kilonova, among others. Two neutron stars collided together to, fo uh, to form a black hole and that let out gravitational waves, but at the same time it also let out light that we could see with the telescope SALT, and SALT was one of the first telescopes to get onto that because it's a very flexible telescope. So uh, I think that's probably our biggest impact result, but there have been many, many, many different experiments uh, and studies done over the years with SALT that we're proud of. SALT has also been instrumental in grooming the next generation of scientists. The data collected through the telescope is the basis of countless masters and doctoral theses. I'm a product of one of the uh, developments of the train or the training of the young generation and continues to do so. So in the past 20 years it's been um, you know the quality of the data that we get here has been has formed a part of masters and PhD uh, research theses. So we've seen lots of students graduate with um, their masters and PhD uh, degrees, and a lot of it has um, been using a lot of salt data. They show understanding of what is happening. What is it when we talk of salt? Starting from grade R, it's it, it's quite amazing. And for me, it says we are really building lots and lot of layers of our scientists, people that are going to take care of our universe, people who understand when we talk of the importance of STEM subjects, they, they, they grow up with it. So there's a lot of contribution really that the existence of this site is having on the area of Sutherland. Always to help mankind understand the universe and beyond better with every discovery. Over the next few years, SALT will undergo some upgrades to make it even better. But what excites scientists even more is the working relationship with the Square Kilometre Array being built in Carnarvon and the potential discoveries these two scientific superpowers will make. Ulrich Hendricks, SABC News, Sutherland, Northern Cape.